guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here at the 2020 Chicago Auto Show, and we have come across a car for the second time that we actually first saw in LA. This is a special edition. It's actually the 50th anniversary of the Dodge Challenger, and they wanted to celebrate in a really big way with this particular trim. Now, this color is called Gold Rush. The exciting thing about the 50th anniversary is you could actually apply it to the RT trim, to this scat pack wide body, scat pack standard body, and they're making a specific 70 of each trim of each color. Now, there's classic colors like Frostbite and this Gold Rush, including Mango Red and all the other wonderful colors. One of my favorite is Hell Raisin. What a unique time, that muscle car era, the peak at 1970 when the Challenger first appeared. The even better news is, is that if you go the Scat Pack wide body, for the first time on the wide body, you can get the classic shaker hood. So let's go ahead, dive into this really true muscle car. And I think none of the other big three, whether it be the Chevy Camaro or the Ford Mustang, does the retro muscle car better than Dodge with the Challenger. And it almost makes it like muscle car era version 2.0. So let's go ahead and dive in. Right off the bat, this Gold Rush color. Love the classic look. You can see what we're working with, with the LED daytime running lamps. They took that experience learned from the Hellcat originally and hollowed out that second headlight to help feed air. If you look inside, you see that 50th? They actually put the 50th anniversary badge inside that. I love all the Easter eggs on this car. I love the style that Dodge puts, not only to their Challenger, but also their Charger. We have our Challenger badge added with the 50, that classic egg crate grill design, RT logo on the side here. That gives us that road and track. That's what RT stands for, road and track. We work our way down, same egg crate, and then a very, very nice front splitter that extends to help force feed air into the large uh, radiator with the Challenger. You're also going to get those great engine options, which is wonderful. Now, as we go up onto the hood, flat black, just like you had back in 1970, the flat black, that gold rush color shaker hood, that's going to be that actual functional scoop. And why do they call it a shaker? Because guess what? When you get on the loud pedal, that thing is going to shake because it's actually bolted to the engine. Now, as we go around the bend, you're gonna see the wide body style. I love how it starts all the way down low, goes all the way around, special edition wheels. Now, because it is a wide body, you're gonna have 305s at all four corners. I like the flat silver. Look at the massive six piston Brembo calipers there, that bright silver, two piece rotors. So with this setup, you have the hat and the rotor, and they're attached right there all the way around. That makes it a two-piece rotor that's gonna help dissipate heat. And the good news is with this car weighing about 4,300 pounds, we're gonna need a brake because she gets up and goes for sure. Going down the side fender, you can see our Scat Pack Bumblebee. I like the way they went the silver with the black, really makes it stand out nicely and separates it from a, the other Scat Packs that are out there. As we keep working our way back, the colors are changing here at the Dodge booth. We have the flat black roof, which is great. Gold rush all the way down the side. And you can see the proportions. Like I said, you look at a Challenger from 1970, it really fits the proportions very nicely. We keep working our way back, flat black on the trunk. So from the hood to the roof to the trunk, you have that classic kick up spoiler, the Challenger 50th badging and the bright red LED lighting. Really nice and clear. Now, one thing I am gonna zonk is the exhaust. I wish they would have went with a quad tip exhaust instead of the standard vacuum style, especially because this is a 50th anniversary. That vacuum style just, it blends in nice, but I would like to see a quad tip exhaust. Why don't we go ahead though, let's pop the hood and check out what's attached to the shaker. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You see how they cut out the opening, the shaker name synonymous with the muscle car days. And there she is, the first shaker application on a wide body. So what you are looking at is gonna be, if you're going the scat pack route, you're looking at a 6.4 liter V8, naturally aspirated, 485 horsepower, 475 foot pound of torque. If you are 
thinking about weight, 4,314 pounds. The great news is, is you could get a six-speed uh, excuse me, six-speed manual or an eight-speed automatic. And in this RT, you're getting that wonderful six-speed, which I'm gonna show you once we get into the interior. But like I said, when it comes to the muscle car days, this hood just really says so much about the brand and about that era. Why don't we go ahead, let's get inside the 50th anniversary and see if the muscle car theme continues. All right, guys, so we're inside the Challenger 50th anniversary. The reason why I decided to redo this car, even though we saw it at LA, is because we got to get inside of it. If you remember, we were up on a turntable and I couldn't show you the inside. So let's talk about the price. There's gonna be an additional five to six thousand dollars added to the price they're only making 1960 of these challenger 50th anniversaries let's see what you get for the money to the door panels i like what they did with the leather the stitching that alcantara microfiber suede material very nice touches has the optional Harman Kardon sound system i want to apologize for the beeping we are at an auto show and i can't shut that off because they have the lights permanently turned on but nice touches to the door panel when we go from the door panel to the dash you have your challenger 50th anniversary badge just to remind you hey this is something special you get to the infotainment now everything else is pretty much going to be the same you have the nice contrast uh, stitching I like what they did with the trim around here it's got that nice orange tinge to it that's that 8.4 inch you connect infotainment system you got your start stop button launch control button your drive modes radio controls nac and then here's the goodness right here six speed manual transmission anybody could just put in the drive and get down the road with the zf8 speed this six speed manual throws are short it's got a nice classic uh, shift knob on the tip and really engages very very nicely i definitely want to take this for a spin stitch work here open it up I know you can't see, but you have room for your Twinkies, two USBs, an aux jack, and a 12 volt cup holders, and then the seats. Love the leather, the 50th anniversary badge, the stitching and everything is really spot on the money. The one thing that's a little off-putting with these seats is there's no real bolstering. So you go down a twisty road, you're gonna be sloshing around like water in a bucket, but why don't you come on over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this 50th anniversary Challenger. All right, guys, muscle car version 2.0, the business end. You do have your adjustable seat here, contorted to your body. I think my favorite part is, is that you can have this any trim that you want with the 50th anniversary, except for Hellcat, of course, but RT, the scat pack, there's the magic down there, shining bright with those new LED light we have, the three pedals, nice clutch movement there. I like the brushed aluminum got the grips on it all the way across i would like to see a little larger dead pedal especially when you're hauling butt and hauling mail down the road it would be nice to support yourself as you're going down the road seat feels great steering wheel nice thickness i like the stitching all the way around it mimics perfect everywhere in this car you got the nice dodge horn button which i am going to zonk this should be the 50th anniversary badging on that horn but check out the instrumentation it's got the retro look with some technology, you got the tack, the speedometer, and that digital display in the center. Even looking out over the windshield. Pretend you are me right now. Just do that for a second. Look at that bulge of a hood there with the shaker. That would be shaking back and forth as you're ripping down the quarter mile. Live your life one quarter mile at a time. Hey, Vin Diesel does it. But overall, this thing is really just a piece of beauty. Having that six-speed manual transmission makes this extra special, and that's what makes driving a muscle car like this so much fun. If you think that this car is definitely the one to get over a Mustang GT or a Camaro, I totally understand and get it. Even, like I said, just from the front, the look of it, the stance, it really is driving a piece of car culture and expression of your taste and telling everybody, I don't want a Prius, I don't want an SUV, and I don't want to walk, but I'll be more than happy behind the wheel of this muscle car. But if it's cars like these that you want to see on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Raise Rise merch. I got to give it up to my wonderful wife, Lori. She's here working this 
ground floor, working the camera like a champ, pushing people out of the way because you know what? Rady's Rides is on a roll and Lori's here with us to stay. So thank you, Lori, for everything you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.